Hi guys, this is Green here. I'll present to you on how to do a turtle and how to turn this turtle into this. Stay tuned. For this tutorial, you will need a crayon or some type of marker, pen, anything that you just need something to write with this is for the eyes and designs on the back so and you just need paper okay let's get started first step <coughs> the first step is to make a valley fold so grab this here make a, valley, a half fold if you want to call it Go like this I'm gonna increase it Next step is to do more, two more half folds, but this time to the midpoint of the paper. That's good. And then the other one. That's good. The third step is to let it go. So we'll be making an X. So fold this over here again. Make sure to crease it like this. You don't have to, but it's just to make sure that it's nice. So in order to make the X, you need to focus on these two corners and this midpoint. To assist you with that, I advise you go right here, make a half fold, but instead of doing it like fully, make a crease in the middle. And then use your finger to mark it. This will come very much in handy. See, very nice crease. So this will tell us where to, where to mark the X. So it can be in a straight line. So anyway, starting from here, go to the corner, right here, all the way to the corner. And then make sure you do the next one. Make sure both touches the corner. This might be hard, but just stay, continue doing this. That's a nice effect, you see? Dang, exact. So do the same to the other side. Now the key to origami is patience. So you're not gonna learn it the first time. But it'll become easy, maybe the second or the third time. That is if you understand it a little bit the first time. So the corner again, and the corner again. And then the points in the middle, making sure exactly right there. Make sure you hit the corner. And then just stretch. Oh, don't rush. Don't rush, don't rush. Good. Now we've completed this step. Next step. So for the next step, we're gonna open this. And it should look like this. If you see this, you're in the right track. The next step, what should happen is that, so fold this like an airplane, but instead of folding like with your type, like forcing it, follow this line. So fold it like that. And then this crease, you're gonna do a valley fold. So you're gonna do the opposite. It, sh it would be hard, so that's why you have to do this side too. So, again, this, and then this. Make sure and make sure you point this crease right here. Fold it. Fold this side. And you should get this type of triangle. To make it easier on you, just do this. Good. Now you can just do, do the same thing. So go like this, and then do this other side. And it should be easier since you've done that fold. Bam, nice. And so you see, should look like this. The next step is that we're gonna do inverse folds on these flaps. So this flap will get an inverse fold. Here you go, flap, inverse, and inverse. So fold it down first, fold this one down first. Make sure like you, you crease it very well. <laughs> and then open it, open it. Then open this flap. You should see something like this. Pull this down, like this white line down. And then just push this like that. See, that was easy. Let's do it this side. Crease is correct. And then just smash it. Now, 
although we've done this side, we need to do this side. Because remember, it, it was on top of each other. So pull this one out. Pull this one out. Good. Now, do this. Do the same thing to this side. There. Now you got your form. It's kind of forming into a turtle. Although you might not see it, I see it. So the next step, after you've done this, it was like this. Flip it like this. I mean, not flip it, but turn it like this. And then basically put this flat and then you should see a crease that like makes it pull, not want to move anymore. So then crease it in that level. In other words, fold the flaps down. It should look like this. That's good. Now the next step is to do this. So grab one of them. Actually, let's make this the head. So it's like more sharper and more better. Anyway, actually, it doesn't matter. So anyway, uh, grab one of the hands of the turtle, fold it to this, crease it to this line right here. Good, now crease it to this line right here and do it the same to the other side. Good. Now the next step is that we're gonna do a smush fold. We, that's what we're basically preparing for. So what you're gonna do is open it, Go, there's two um, papers. Let me just focus this so you can see it. Okay, there's two papers, right? So pull up this flap, make sure you restrict this side, and then just squash it. Squash. Now do it for this side, this side, and this side. So watch it again. So there's this right here. Restrict this, pull this all the way, and squash it. Okay. Now we're forming the turtle's legs. So the next step now is to make it look more like sea turtle legs. Don't worry, we're doing the standing turtle. I'll show you the standing turtle later. So these are the turtle legs. So make sure, it look, to make it look like a sea turtle leg, pull this side all the way like this, and you should get this. Make sure the, the pointy side is folded all the way, but do not let this turn like this. You wanna crease it so that a little flap is left. So do it for this side. It'll be hard at first, but then you'll get used to it. The next step is to do it the same, but instead of doing the crease over here, you're just creasing it this way. That's all. If you need some guidance, just align it with this line. It should look nice. And then like match it with this line to make it look more clean. But you don't have to. You do the same here. And that is the leg. Those are the legs. Looking nice. So the next step now is to just fold this all the way down and fold it this way. Good. Now, after you did that, I need you to, to do this. So let's actually make a triangle first. So we're gonna make a, tri a little triangle here to assist us in this fold we're about to do. So fold it all the way to this line right here. This line, right here, this line. Do it the same for this side. Good. Now, we can do this. So fold, not, not all the way, but since this is the neck. So do it, fold this line, drag this line all the way back here and make a straight line like this. Now for the next side, do the same. The triangle should make it easier for you to do. After that, pull this, get this point and pull it all the way down. And you should have a turtle's neck. I mean a turtle's head or neck, you anyway. But if you want to make it like 3D like this, you could do this and just, if you want to make it 3D like this, the way I did it is I put my hand over here and then like just pressed on it and drag this right here. Do it for like three seconds and then let go and you have a 3D head. So the next step now is to just grab this, do this, do the same to the tail, but instead of folding it to this, just this line, we're just going to fold it to this point. So watch what I mean. So do the triangle. Do the triangle again, right here, triangle. And then just drag this thing all the way here to this point. Good, now do it for this side. Good, kinda look too big. So let's shorten this more. So what we're gonna do is let it go again. So make it more bigger, like this. And then do that triangle fold again. Do it again for this side, like that and then like drag the, this point all the way, try to drag it all the way to the middle. Do this side. 
and bam. Nice and easy. Or for the most part, easy. Not that, not that easy. So let's straighten out the tail. Looking nice. That's the tail there. So anyway, the next step is to basically fold this. Fold the sides of the shell. And then you're done. Now, if you want to make the turtle stand, this turtle was not created by me. I learned it from a person, and the credit will go to the person down below. You'll see it in the descriptions down below. But the standing part was my idea. Because I just, I wanted to, I, I played with it a little, and then I started to think to myself, why don't I just make it stand? So in order to make the turtle stand, you just need to, this is the center, act like this is the midline. So basically find, put this to the middle, or put this to the middle, and put this in the middle, and then find a way to point it all the way up. And then fold this way, fold this way. It doesn't have to be perfect in this fold right here. It just has to stand up, and this has to be pointed. So, <clears throat> do it with this. So point this in the middle, set this, and then sharpen this, and then press fold. Then point it, press this side, press that side. And you got your crease. Then do the same to this side. Press it up, sharpen it, then put this side down and press hold. Okay. Sharpen this. And that's right. It should be at least close to sharpen, not all the sharp. It doesn't have to be sharpened. But at least at least close to sharpen. So any it doesn't have to be that sharpened, but at least close. So anyway, it should look something standing like this. It's not really complete yet. But anyway, grab one of the, the foot. Open it like how you did the head. But this time, we're gonna do some uh, major things. So push it this side. Or turn it. And then go like this and end up like that. Bam. You got a leg. Let's make it more better. Okay. Nice leg, turn. Nice leg. Nice foot. Also. So, yep. Now do the rest of the, of the foot. I mean, make a foot for the rest of the legs. So grab this, pinch it this way, point it this way, and then make, and then pull it. Do this, and then pull it some more. You should get something like this. Grab this, open it, pinch it this way, pinch it that way, push it, pull, pull it this way, pull it, and pull a little, and then do this more. And you get foot. The last one. Do the same. So open this way. And there. So now we have a foot. Now for the crayon. So I'm gonna put my eyes right here. Well, not my eyes, but the turtle eyes. I go right here. And this turtle we call we call it green. So G for green. And why don't we give it some lightning? Like my logo. It might not be the best lightning, but it's good enough. Hey, that's a long lightning. Anyway. Super Grover, or Super Green, Super Green. That's my turtle right there. That's how you create a turtle. It can be land or sea. This is land, spread out the thing. And it's just back to sea. Ready to go. So, see you later, and good luck with your turtle.